the collection log. It records nearly every unique drop that players can obtain from various content in the game. My goal is to complete the majority of this log, but there's a twist. A spreadsheet controls the entire direction of my account. This is the journey of Generate Task. In the previous episode of Generate Task, we got ourselves a new haircut as part of the Felder Easy Diary. We killed a few Mogers, Catapapons, and then made our way through the rogues den a couple of times to finally also do some more easy clue scrolls. And now it's time to make our way over to the place any new Iron Man starts their account nowadays, the Wintertot Prison. Okay, first things first, of course we still need to get 50 fire making before we are able to start our Wintertot grind. I still have a lot of these willow logs in the bank from when we got 60 woodcutting to buy the rune X in the guild. So these will last me until even after level 50. Let's get these levels real quick. There's level 45, 5 more to go. Alrighty, the final lock for 50 fire making. We can now enter the Winter Tots prison and that's exactly where we are going. Now first I gotta check if I have any warm items. I guess I have the Staff of Fire and earmuffs as well, that's for sure. But I'm gonna check for a sec if I have any others. Okay, that's weird. The earmuffs aren't in the list of warm items shown on the OSRS wiki, even though I always thought that they were considered as one. So I guess I'll just take the Staff of Fire and the Lit Bug Lantern as 2 out of 4, and then get myself the Clue Hunter boots and gloves in addition to max out my warm clothing. I can dig those up nearby just north of Ardy, so I'll get those real quick, and then head out to Wintertot. Also still have a decent amount of food in the bank, so we should be fine there. Should be next to this oak tree over here, if I dig here, um, here, <laughs> there we go, clue hunter boots and clue hunter gloves, that is all we need. We have the Xeric talisman, so I guess I'll just teleport to Hosidius and make my way over to Wintertot, let's go. Alright, we have made it, let's see, grab a hammer to repair the braziers for some construction XP. Of course we also need an axe, a tinderbox, and we will grab a knife as well to get some fletching XP and some extra points every kill. And I guess we'll start using some salmon to get started with as far as our food goes. Now I know I could do solo kills as well, but I've always preferred to just do it in the homeworld, so that's what I'm doing again right now. And I've been here for quite some time on my other account, 120 mil fire making XP to be exact. So we are definitely familiar with it already. Let's just see how fast we'll get these pages and potentially also another unique along the way. Oh god, I'm taking 8 damage from the basic attacks at the moment and I even took a 17 before any braziers were lit. Not what I'm used to, cause when I did it on my other account I was below 20 HP so it took barely any damage. And I do have 4 warm items, but it's just that my fire making level is still so low, which does have a big impact on the damage taken at Wintertot. But hey, it can only get better from here on. The first level of many, hopefully, 25 fletching. Pretty rough first kill, we only have 34 HP left and we used up all of the 10 salmon that we brought with us. Let's see what we get from our first crate. Ah, some grimy herbs and an uncut sapphire, nothing interesting just yet. But let's just keep it going and hopefully we will take less damage once we get some fire making levels in.
Oh, what? Holy, look at this crate. Warm gloves and burnt pages. That's amazing. We just completed our task with another task passively done as well with one of the Winter Tot uniques. All right, that's insane. <laughs> 26 kill count, so it didn't take too long. I think the drop rate is around 20 or something, so just over, but it's not too bad. Got up to 65 fire making, just short of a woodcutting level, 34 fletching and 20 construction, so pretty good. Also got some decent rewards. I think we got a lot of U seeds um, by the looks of things. So yeah, not too bad. And that's two more tasks completed. Yeah, there we go, seven U seeds, really good. Alright, before we complete this one, I'm quickly going to mark off one of the Winter Tot uniques, so here we go, that's one. And then back to the dashboard, complete the burnt page as well. 34% now, not bad, not bad. Let's see what, what the next one will be. Um, I wouldn't mind actually staying at Winter Tot, so maybe we'll get one of the uniques as a next task. Here we go. Oh my god, I called it boys. This isn't recorded afterwards or anything. <laughs> well, I guess we're staying. Alright, the first crate again. Nothing. Second one. Nope. Hey, 35 fletching coming in. Can now make willow short bows. Amazing. Third times the charm. Let's see if we get something from this crate. Uh, some snape grass seeds, not too bad. This will be kill count number 34, nothing again. Kill count 31, nope, not what we need. <laughs> Alright, maybe this one, gold ore and coins. Kill count 33, four coins, coal and some anchovies. Another crate. Nothing again. Yes boys, Pyromancer Garb. That's the unique we needed. Just short of one extra fire making level, but that's okay. Awesome, boom. Nice, quick and easy. 35 KC, not too bad at all. All right, go ahead, complete this one. Will we get the triple winter dot in a row? Let's see. Nope. Mauritania easy diary, okay, not bad at all. Let's let's do another diary boys Okay, so looking at the task list over here. I've already completed four from the Mauritania easy Now there are two tasks that require a bit more time than the others um, One is place a scarecrow in the Mauritania flower patch now for this I need a watermelon and I have to grow them myself. Luckily enough I have uh, 51 farming already from the previous farming tasks we've had. And I also have I think 20 watermelon seeds in the bank so that's not too much of, a, of an issue. Now the bigger problem is that we need to get a slayer task from Mashna or however you pronounce his name. And we currently still have a pretty long slayer task of like 130 blue dragons I think. Uh, yeah, 131 blue dragons and I don't really want to skip my task because we are on a task streak of like I'm not sure I think around 30 or something So what I'm gonna do is complete this task first while the watermelons are growing as well And then hopefully by the time we finish this task the watermelons are fully grown and then I can quickly do all of the tasks that are still left so That's the plan. Let's go All right got two allotments of watermelon planted right here hopefully one of them will survive and we can get the watermelon that way now time to kill some blue dragons in my newly acquired gear with the amulet of power trimmed and the black mask didn't think i would still need it before heading to the medium tier of the spreadsheet but you know we still have to do some slayer tasks it seems so gonna use it now pretty cool and with this bone we actually get a prayer level look at that 49 prayer we can now use the prayer redemption. Awesome. Not sure when I'll be using that, but nice to get another level during this one slayer task. 60 defense coming in as well. We now have flat 60s as far as our melee stats go. And I'm gonna switch over to strength training again. Get that to 65 or 70 before leveling the two others. 
Slayer task completed, sweet. Let's go check up on our watermelons and then we can do the diary tasks. Hey, beautiful. Both patches actually survived, so I'll just have to grab one watermelon over here. Don't need the rest right now, so I'll just leave them. I will also buy an empty sack in the farming shop over here, which I can then fill with hay for the hay sack. That is also needed to make the scarecrow. And then all I still need is a bronze spear, which I should be able to get from killing goblins. Fill up the sack over here with some hay, and then it's time to kill some of these guys. Alright, we got the bronze spear we needed. Now if we put all of these together, I think it works like this. Okay, yeah, we got the scarecrow. Perfect. There we go, one ghoul down for the diary. A thin snail and a shell. I think if I cut a shell I complete a diary task as well. There we go, and then I also have to cook this snail later on for another one. That's a werewolf killed in human form for another task. Get some leather tanned, there we go. And then get a slayer task from Majna as well. Boom. Plonk down the scarecrow in the flower patch over here. And here we are, use the tin snail on the cooking range, and we are done. Time to head back to Canafis, talk to Le Sabre, and then we can move on. Talk to her to claim our reward. And that's it boys, Mauritania legs 1, and some more prayer XP as usual, with us still not being over 30 herb lore. Nice, another diary completed, another task done. Complete this one and let's see if we can maybe get another diary back to back Ooh, Now that's a fun one one unique tsar drop. All right, here we go time to dive into the Karamja volcano Now before we start this grind Let's take a look at the different tsar items. We will eventually have to obtain in total There's actually 10 items in the tsar category that can be found on the collection log But we split these up in three groups First off, there's the Tux Metal, is the Obsidian Staff, which is only dropped by the Tsar Mei at a rate of 1 in 4096. Now this one is a separate task in the Elite tier, so it's not part of the Tsar unique task we are going for right now. Then there's also the three different Obsidian Armor pieces dropped by the higher level Tsar Cat. We will get two of these in the Heart tier and the final one in the Elite tier. And now all other items on the list are what I consider to be Tsar Uniques, which is what we have to get one of right now for our task. This consists of the Uniques dropped by both the Tsar Cat and the Tsar Xil, and are the following 6 items shown on your screen right now. Now the Cape is dropped by both monsters, and the Tsar Cat has the additional drops of the Obi Maul and the Obi Shield, whereas the Tsar Kill has the additional drops of the Obi Rings, Sword and Dagger. Considering the higher amount of uniques and the fact that the Tsar Xil is also weaker than the Tsar Cat, the conclusion is easily made to kill those for our first unique, which we will do by safe spotting the melee variation of this monster while making sure we don't mess with the ones that can range us. And the rate to get our first unique from them is 1 in 128. Alright, we got our range set up once again with the trusty bronze arrows, let's head over to the Tsar City. Oh, and shout out to another task account over here, Forondil. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> I killed one. I killed one Tsarxil and I got the Obsidian Cape. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Wow. That's insane. <laughs> I was like, maybe this will be the next Infernal Mage grind where I go very dry on something, but... Guess not. Very first kill. Obsidian cape, and apparently they're worth 800k still, which is pretty insane. <laughs> well, easy task, I guess. On to the next one. I've been logged in for two minutes, as you can see. If we keep completing tasks like this, it's not gonna take much longer before we complete the easy tier and we can move on to the medium one. Oof, okay, okay, okay. A cockatrice head now. This one might take a bit longer than the cape we just got, that's for sure. The hunt for head will be happening in the next episode, so make sure to subscribe to not miss out on that. Thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, have a nice day and take care.